What's going on guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 on Windows using the CLI, the command line interface. You want to make sure your device is plugged into your computer and that Windows has recognized the device. Now you want to find your C-Inject 4.3 download. You want to extract all to your C drive. So make sure it is pointed to your, your root hard disk there. And here it is. So I have the C-Inject 4.3, and you just open that folder so you can make sure you have all the contents there. You can open the README file with WordPad, just like I did there, for some in-depth information, some more verbose information. It also has some instructions in here for you guys. Highly recommend that you read the README file just to get familiar with the command line utility and the various options that it has. Now what you want to do is go to your Start menu, and then type in CMD just like that right click on the command prompt and run as administrator then you should see this right here this is the Windows command prompt most of you will probably be familiar with this type CD space backslash enter and then CD space C inject underscore 0 0.4.3 and then again since we extracted it to the same folder so CD space C inject 0 0.4 Point three, and there we go. You can do a DIR just to make sure you have all the contents there that we should have. Now you want to type C inject space dash I space payloads slash jailbreak dot mobile config just like that. Enter. And then once you do that, you should notice on your iPhone 4S this comes up an install profile prompt. You want to just go ahead and tap install right there. Tap install, select install now, and then it's going to ask you for a password and whatnot. You don't have to worry about the whole password thing. All you need to do is go ahead and tap on the next button, and that will install that profile. So now we're done with the profile. Now we can do something a little more interesting. I'm going to head back over to our command line utility, or our Windows command prompt, and now we're going to type in the following. I'm going to type C inject. Now space dash J space payloads and then enter. And then you're going to see something that looks like this. It's going to say finding slide. You're going to see uploaded Corona. So you know that the exploit is actually working. So that is a very good thing. You're going to see restoring one file restored. Then you're going to see this. You want to type in C inject space dash W and this will open up the system log so you can kind of see what's going on here. You're going to see all these unknown errors, etc., etc. Don't worry about this. Now what you need to do, once you're at that command prompt right there, you want to go over, open up the general in your settings app, and then go to network, and then you should see a VPN. You want to open up VPN, which will be at the bottom. I'm sorry, I was covering it up a little bit. And then toggle on your VPN connection, just like that. So just go to settings, general, network VPN toggle on the VPN you should see something that looks like this right here a configuration error has occurred and then you should see the screen go black you should see a little spinning icon there and the iPhone 4s will eventually reboot you'll see the Apple logo and then you'll see the little Apple loading logo in the meantime you're going to see your command line utility or your command prompt look like this so this is going to show that it actually is working um, and things are good so just let this continue to run it's just gonna run and run and run for a while and then eventually you'll notice it come to a halt just like this you'll see installing file mover yours may look a little different but for the most part it should be right around this section right here once it stops then that's a good indication that your iPhone 4s is probably ready for prime time so just make sure that the Apple logo has continued to load you should eventually be back up um, and we'll just give it a few more seconds Yours may be up already, um, but you'll see that. And then eventually it will be at in the lock screen once the final little Apple logo loads. So there's our lock screen right there. Now you can just literally unlock your device and check for Cydia. So let's go ahead and unlock. Okay. And there is Cydia, folks. So you're ready to go. You have a jailbroken iPhone 4S or iPad 2 if you used an iPad 2 using the Windows command prompt and the C inject tool. It really is easy. This also works on the Mac if you have a Mac. But for Windows users, this is a great tool to use because it's really your only alternative at this point until the graphical user interface jailbreak tool Red Snow is released for Windows. So folks, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We will have a tutorial on iDownload blog as well. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.